What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV as we jump into something slightly different today. We're going to be taking a look at a very interesting post from Spotify who have recently listed a very interesting, well, list, um, which we're going to get into. Obviously, with this channel at the moment, we're trying to focus a bit more on kind of general content rather than just reactionary based stuff. Obviously, in the new year, we'll be back in the radio studio as well. So we'll be focusing a lot more on sort of conversational bits, um, obviously, technology content and of course a lot more interviews as well so that's all still to come don't worry that's still all on the way we will be keeping up the reactions of course however something very interesting has happened which i want to talk about before that though if you haven't already please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment all of that good stuff and getting involved in as many ways as you can however this is what I would quite like to talk about today. Spotify have just put a post up onto their Instagram, releasing, in their opinion, according to uh, their playlist, African Heat, the 10 best African songs of 2021. Now, um, we're going to work our way through the list, which is quite interesting and quite exciting in general. Um, starting off straight away at number 10, I won't lie, this is a tune I hadn't actually heard before, which is probably bad from me. Um, again, we spent the but most we spent the first half of 2021 kind of not really doing too much reaction focused stuff. I was very much focused on being back in a radio environment, so I didn't really have that much time to do reactionary-based uh, content. However, um, I did take a quick listen to the tune, and I can definitely understand why it is in the top 10. The sounds of AV with Big Thug Boys. Again... Um, it's a tune that did very, very well after doing a little bit of research on it. It was a tune that picked up a lot of steam at the time um, and really did push AV forward. After looking around his YouTube channel in general, um, it definitely looks like the biggest thing that he's done. And in general, it looks like a tune that really did propel him forward. The interesting thing about a lot of this list is it's actually tunes that came out in the first half of the year. So I don't know whether this list is particularly done via Spotify plays or whether it's done by a sort of voting system or whether it's done just on the preference of the people that run the African Heat playlist. List. Um, in ninth, though, Dimension, J5, Skepta, and Rema. Now, this was a tune I played regularly um, on uh, The Breakfast Show. We had it on playlist for a long period of time. We had it on Fresh Fridays, of course. Did a massive review on this one. We did a reaction on the channel to it as well. Um, an incredible link-up, I've got to say. J5, without a doubt, one of the UK's shining lights on the production side of things. And then on top of that, of course... Um, Skepta being the international legend he has now become, and Rema being the, the the talent that he is. It was a very it was a link up that made a lot of sense at the time. This year we definitely saw a massive increase in international collaboration between the UK um, and Nigeria in particular. We've seen a lot of people kind of coming over and getting involved on collaborations. Like obviously we've seen Skepta and Wiz work together numerous times. We've seen Burner and Dave work together before. Um, we've seen Burner work with the majority of the UK, but we've also seen people like Fireboy getting involved in that as well. Um, and a number of other artists as well. So it's been really cool to kind of see that international collaboration take place as we've moved forward. Um, and that's in ninth place, which is quite an interesting one, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> moving forward then, on this list, we see Rexy and Mobad with KPK, the official remix. Now, this for me is one of the catchiest tunes of the year, without a shadow of a doubt. Again, this tune did absolute bits when it first landed. I was, again, this was a period where I wasn't actually doing money reaction videos, but this was a tune that I heard regardless. I just heard people playing it on radio. It was a tune I just heard people talking about the entire time, and this tune did absolute bits. Again, it was a link up that made so much sense between um, Rexy and Mobad. Um, Rexy obviously has had a fantastic year following on from this, and Mobad's uh, definitely hit a uh, clinical point of fame since then. So to kind of see this tune in the top 10 makes a lot of sense. Um, up to 7th is Peru by Fireboy DML. Now, we all know there is a very exciting remix of this tune coming later on this week. We know Ed Sheeran has put together an official remix for it, and that will be landing on Christmas Eve at 12 p.m. UK time. We're going to be there to get the reaction ready. Obviously, the original tune is absolutely crazy. It dropped kind of uh, on a weird one. There wasn't an official music video. As far as I'm aware, it was sort of semi-leaked, um, and they just went with a visualizer, which came out a couple of weeks after the tune landed, um, and it did absolute bits. For me, this should be a little bit higher. If I was to kind of rate these just on the impact I would definitely have put this a lot higher personally but overall definitely a wicked tune and if this hadn't have been in the top 10 I think there would have been something kind of wrong with the list if I'm being entirely honest with you uh, following on from this though we also saw Joe Boy and Quessy Arthur join forces on Door again this was a tune that definitely slipped through the net a little bit for me but it was clearly a huge tune for uh, Joe Boy um, this one's racked up nearly 4 million views over the course of the year I think it dropped back in April um, and it was alongside Quessy 
Wesley Arthur, who's obviously grown significantly since then. A very exciting link up, this one. Um, and definitely a tune that I think I'm going to be spinning a bit more, purely because it was one that I'd seen. I hadn't really dived into it as much. Obviously, they did the return collaboration um, with Bajo, and that was a wicked tune as well, um, which actually has, has done nearly as well view-wise. That was the tune that came first. This one's obviously done a lot better. Um, so again, I can understand why this one is in the top six, but it definitely heats up when we get into that top five listing. Very interesting stuff indeed. Um, Tenny with Moslado again. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this is much more along the sort of ama piano kind of vibe. I might be entirely wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, what I remember of this tune, we did do a reaction to it. Um, it did really well. Tenny always stacks up views. Obviously, um, she's had a couple of wicked collaborations in her time. And I think this is another example of her kind of just showcasing her versatility as much as anything. I remember really enjoying this tune when we did the reaction to it. I think there were only um, three songs on here that we haven't done any reactionary content to. So these are all tunes that we are aware of. Um, definitely a wicked one, and it was good to see Tenny kind of continue that good run of form that we've seen from her over the last few years. Definitely deserves a spot in the top 10. I think five might be slightly high, if I'm being entirely honest, um, but we'll see how the uh, top four above it kind of roll through. I definitely think Peru, if I was to switch one of the... Uh, well, I would definitely probably have had KPK and uh, Peru in my top five um, if we're going off kind of overall impact based on the tracks that are actually in this list. Um, moving up to number four then, Burner Boy with Kilometer, again for me, huge tune. Absolutely love the sounds of this one. The uh, instrumental on it is absolutely through the roof. Um, I really loved listening to this one when it first landed as well. We had it on playlist on repeat essentially. I was playing this every single day on the breakfast show and on radio in general. I know Duke Sky was as well and a number of the other people over on Trickstar and around the country to be honest with you. This was a huge tune that everyone knew about um, and for good reason. Again, it was Burner Boy in top form. This was I believe his first drop of 2021. Um, it hit with amazing impact. It was quite a short tune though as far as I remember it was around two minutes kind of 30 40 but it did the job in the time that it was there for me this would definitely have been in my top five without a shadow of a doubt um moving then on to Rema with soundgasm for me this would have been number two um, I absolutely adore this tune. The way that Rema steps up on it and kind of levels up from the previous um, appearances. I think his release before this was Woman, um, and then he went into this, and obviously Woman absolutely banged internationally. Then this tune came around, and everyone went, okay, Rema's here for uh, to, to cause some damage. Um, obviously, he's been popping over the last few years, but for me, this felt like a bit of a moment of him going, look, this is how good I am. The vocals on this tune are absolutely outstanding, um, and I can definitely see why it's in the, uh, well, essentially the Spotify top three. Um, personally, I'd have had it in number two above the next track on the list, which is, of course, Omar Lay with Understand. As you can see, this is another big tune. Again, Omar Lay seems to do nothing but bangers these days. Every time we see a new release from him on his own channel, especially, it seems to be just bangers. It's bangers galore. Like, he just has this hit-making factor about him. Similar to Remer, actually. I'd actually put them into a similar kind of bracket, both in popularity, fame, and their consistency. Both of them are able to constantly churn out bangers at a quite an alarming rate to be honest with you they're both paying out three or four bangers a year um but understand i would have been very perplexed if understand wasn't in this list purely because of how um much fame i feel omar lay built up off the back of uh was it ungodly i think it was ungodly i think that was the name of the tune from last year um off the back of that obviously he's continued his run he's done a lot of big collaborations this year and again this is almost like the uh, the cherry on the cake in regards to solo releases now the uh, surprise here when we look around this list we see no Wizkid. We see no uh, Thames, we see no uh, Davido, and we see no Mr. Easy. They're the big four kind of omitted names that I would have thought maybe we might have seen one of them. Uh, maybe Mr. Easy a little bit less. He seems to be working a bit more in the background these days. We also see no Olamide on this list either, which again is surprising to me when we're looking at the kind of um, caliber of a lot of these artists. Again, not taking anything away from all of the tracks that are in here, but it's quite surprising that we haven't seen any of those involved. Um, but... The uh, very interesting number one, Ladipo alongside Buju with Feeling. Now, if we were going to include a Buju song on this list, for me, it would have been Mood with Wizkid. I think most people would have kind of gone that way. However, um, Ladipo's EP did absolute bits. There's no getting away from it. It was an incredibly uh, well-received project. Uh, the track with Buju Feeling did absolute bits as well. Um, and although it's a little bit of a curveball in my eyes, maybe I'm kind of looking at it slightly differently. Um, and I've been kind of looking for that instant hit factor about the way tunes kind of sit. Obviously, it's a tune that's done really well. The plays on this one are absolutely through the roof. Um, 
And at the end of the day, if this is what most people have kind of gone for, and it's the one that they feel people have gravitated towards the most, fair play to Ladipo. He had a fantastic EP launch. There's no taking away from that. Um, and obviously, Buju's had a fantastic year as well. It would have been weird to not see anything from Buju in this list, which is what I kind of thought when I first glanced at it. Um, but there we go. I saw Ladipo's tweet about this list earlier today. That's actually what put me on to uh, doing this uh, quick review video of this top 10. But absolutely crazy stuff. Um, and yeah, well done to Spotify for posting it. Obviously, it's good that they're kind of focusing on a more global sense of music these days. Um, I saw they also had this next to a K-pop um, release as well. You had to scroll through to get to it. But interesting stuff that Spotify are very much pushing this sound at the moment. Obviously, there is the international attention um, essentially on the entire continent of Africa at the moment in regards to the music that's being created, whether that be in the whether that be in the south, whether that be in the north, whether that just be across the continent in general. Um, very interesting stuff indeed. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this breakdown. Of course, if you have, please make sure you are getting involved in the channel in as many ways as you can. And of course, let us know what tracks you would have included in that top 10 if you had have had the chance. Please let us know in the comments down below. And if there are any tracks you would like me to uh, react to or break down or give the general musical analysis that we love to do here on the channel, make sure you are getting your requests in via the comment section down below. I do read every single comment that comes onto the channel, so please do get involved. Let's some, get some uh, discussion going down below. And please do remember, my friends, to make sure you are subscribing as well. Um, may, obviously, turn notifications on, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Get involved and enjoy um, the rest of your Tuesday evening. We'll catch you all next time. Peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Cam TV. Stay locked.